Righto, Taliota champs, and it's nearly Christmas, and if you celebrate that, awesome, happy holidays, Christmas, whatever. Now, I've been using this MSI Prestige 14 Evo 4, you know, to test between 11th gen CPUs versus M1 Max, etc. So I've done like a gaming video on it, I've done like how it performs to, you know, the M1 Mac, etc. So all those performance videos I'll leave down there in the description, but someone actually asked me, Please review this laptop. So this is my quick review. So the MSI Prestige 14 Evo is like a medium sized sort of Ultrabook. Or should I say a big size Ultrabook because 14 inches is pretty big. It is a 14 inch laptop. But the genius of this design is it's only 1.29 kilos. So that's under 3 pounds for a 14 inch laptop. It's actually lighter than a MacBook Air. So just take that in for a sec. It's a 14 inch laptop lighter than a MacBook Air. And the build quality is good. The finish is good. Although the panels seem a little bit thin and stuff because you know that's where the weight savings are right but i have the gray version there is a white one as well the white one looks amazing now i'll leave a link to the latest prices in the description it's competitively priced it's what you'd expect sort of for an evo laptop i'll also leave a link if you want to upgrade to windows pro i have a discount code for you also if you want office 2019 so the price is what you'd expect there is a game changing thing with this laptop that is a first for me i'll tell you about that in a sec but the specs, you can have up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM. This comes with Intel's 1185G7. So this ain't the 1165G7, the 1185, it's the fastest, okay? And it has the fastest graphics of any Intel 11th generation. So for specs, this is the best of the best for Intel. You get Wi-Fi 6 as well. And the killer thing of this laptop. This laptop says it supports PCI Express 4.0. Yes, it's the first laptop I've had that supports PCI Express 4.0 or PCI 4.0. So this means you can now put SSDs in this that have, you know, 6,000 megabytes per second reads and, you know, 5,000 megabytes per second writes. Game changer, nearly doubling the speed of the SSD speeds over PCI Express 3. Now this did come with PCI Express SSD, so it's normal, you know, whatever. 2,800 reads and it was like 2,200 writes, whatever, that's fine. I really want to get a PCI Express 4 and put it in this and see how fast it is. Although I don't have one and they're hard to get. A lot of them have heat sinks as well. For ports, we have two Thunderbolt 4s on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have one USB Type-A. That's only 2.0 and one micro SD card slot. That's great. It sort of covers all the bases with the ports. You know, I would prefer full-size SD, but, you know, it's such a thin and light laptop. But for me, why have two Thunderbolt 4s on one side? One on each side is much better. And because it is 11th generation, you don't need a discrete Thunderbolt controller, so you can put them on either side. It makes no difference. Before, you had to have two Thunderbolt controllers if you wanted, you know, a Thunderbolt on each side. That's not the case anymore, so it's a strange sort of decision there. Comes with a 52 watt hour battery. Comes in at 1.29 kilos, as I said, 15.9 millimeters. You know, thin, light, premium. For a 14 inch, it's such a light package. It's so good to carry this around. 65 watt charger and a 52 watt hour battery. Now, when it comes to battery life, Evo laptops are supposed to have, you know, nine hours battery life. I was only getting around six and a half, sort of seven hours battery life. I wonder if that is the PCI Express 4. I don't know. But that's okay, battery life, but it's definitely not class leading. Now, when it comes to performance, go check out those videos I've shown you. Yeah, it gets hot. It can perform very well. Single core, you know, right up there, fast as you're going to get. Multi-core, it's actually really good as well. The graphics performance is good, of course. Intel XE graphics, you can play AAA titles on here. Don't expect too much, but you can do it. Again, check out those videos. If you slam that CPU, you will see the temperatures go up. And yes, it does get noisy, but... No more noisier than any other Ultrabook under full load. So, and the heat inside is no problem. External skin temperature, no problem either. Now, when it comes to display, this is a full HD display. It is a low powered display, which is sort of strange because I'm only getting that sort of, you know, up to around seven hours battery life. That being said, the 14 inch full HD display is pretty good. Getting around that 300 nits brightness and that 100% sRGB, so it all checks out there. I don't think you're going to be complaining about the screen, but I would like to see another option, maybe a higher resolution, wider color gamut option, but yeah, for what it's used for, I think it's fine. So for you people that want to know about the webcam, it is 720p, 30fps, but it does have IR and Windows Hello, so infrared camera there. Now the keyboard is actually nice when you open it up the laptop lifts slightly so you get that nice ergonomic feeling good feedback good travel 
no complaints with the keyboard. Trackpad is like pretty huge, this trackpad. It does have a fingerprint reader there. It's good to see that the trackpads are getting bigger. Feels nice, nice and smooth. The tracking's good. The click feels good. It's not too loud. So yeah, definitely gets a pass there on the trackpad. Now when it comes to the sound, there's nothing wrong with the sound, but you're not going to be blown away with it either. It doesn't actually distort when you have it at full blast, but it does sound sort of thinnish. So yeah, it is what it is. It's nice enough to watch a movie or whatever. So when it comes down to it, what are my thoughts on this laptop? It's a great portable premium package. What I really like about it is how light it is for a 14 inch, just amazing. I like that it has the Intel latest generation CPUs, you know, Thunderbolt 4. You can whack an EVE GPU on this and play 4K gaming. That's for real. Also, the graphics are good enough to play, you know, basic sort of settings, most games. I also do like PCI Express 4.0. This is the future, being able to put a super fast SSD in this, just wow, that's excellent. So for the downsides, the battery life is okay, it's fine, but it could be better, right? Maybe that's the PCI Express 4.0, I don't know. It is sort of like average these days for Ultrabooks. Although it is a 14 inch display, so take that into consideration. Also, I don't like that the two Thunderbolt 4s are on one side. Other than that, this is a good laptop. MSI have done well here. Apart from those little quirks, you're going to like this laptop, I think. If you buy it, I'll check in the next one, guys. Tally ho.